Okay, so this is the SEC IP cameras being connected to a Hike Vision NVR. Um, and this is excluding the body temperature camera and tablet. So just a simple patch cable right now. I'm just plugging the camera directly in. And while that camera is getting powered up, I'm going to proceed with activating the recorder just so you can see that the camera comes right on up without you having to really do anything. Okay, I'm basically just skipping through this part because most likely you will already have a activated recorder. And so we should be fine here. Now also I just want to include when adding these cameras in, um, if you're using a short patch cable as I'm using it right now, you want to make sure that you plug the camera directly back into the same port on your extended run that you're working with right now. Because the camera will become, instead of being DHCP, it will become a static IP address. So if it's not plugged directly back into the same port, it may not connect. So we'll give it, a, it usually takes about one to two minutes to fully boot up and connect. We'll give it a little bit of time and you should see the image populate in the upper left hand corner into D1. Okay, the image has populated. We'll bring it up full screen really quick just to show you. And down here at the bottom is showing a mainstream resolution of 2592 by 1536, which is good. So what we want to do is actually go into the, the menu. And I'm just going to show you that you can actually change over like the resolution of the camera if you need to lower it or something like that. Um, you'll go into the menu, then you'll go down to system and then go to camera. As you can see, it shows here uh, that it's online and it's connecting via Onviv. It did work plug and play. I didn't have to make any changes here. Then we'll go to record. Under record, we're going to select parameter. And you can see here we have the video and audio. The resolution shows there. I can change the resolution. So a lower resolution if I want. So I just changed it to 1920 by 1080. Gonna go into hit apply and back out. Go back to the live view. And as you can see, you can see the image here. And down at the bottom, it still shows 2592 by 1536. It hasn't fully submitted yet. But you can still make the change. If you go back into configuration and go back to record and go to parameter, you'll see it'll change over here and that's basically it uh, it's just plugging the camera directly in and making sure that uh, it does have a stable connection and it should connect no problem